Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Well, here we are looking off the Mount Bachelor camera with quite a few clouds in the sky and some haze. The main differences for us today is the lack of thunderstorms and some lower air quality. In fact, most of the region is, if not in moderate, in the unhealthy for sensitive groups. We've seen a bit of an improvement as we've had some stronger winds this afternoon, but not expecting those winds to be enough to keep us or get us at least back to that good air quality, maybe in some parts of the region by the morning. Now we do have multiple watches and mornings in place all through the state. You can see the main ones that are impacting us is the fire weather warning that is in the pink area. And then we do have that down into Central Oregon. We also have an uh, the heat, excessive heat warning and that is the peach colored area and where you see these colors here that are mesh. That's because you have two watches and mornings overlaying on each other and that also happens down down in here where you see this darker pink. But for us, fire weather warning starts tomorrow at two o'clock and goes until tomorrow night at 11. And then we have the excessive heat watch that starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. and stays with us all the way until Saturday at 11 p.m. So we have those two in place, both starting tomorrow, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. A different look for us on that satellite radar image tonight, just a few clouds. There's a very slight chance for some afternoon storms, but really the biggest possibility for those thunderstorms is tomorrow and that's when we have that fire weather watch and warning in place on our water vapor image as we've watched this the last few days there have been several consistent things that has been the motion of the storms that they have been moving through and the fact that we're seeing moisture over central Oregon and dry air on the Pacific everything is coming up from the south moving in that clockwise motion off into our east wind wise we have seen lighter winds again today five to ten miles per hour a few areas in Central Oregon have been barely registering one to two miles per hour and just expecting that we're going to stay in that up to 10 mile per hour range. Smoke wise, as I mentioned, you see the whole state is blanketed and at least a light level of smoke. And you'll notice here on our smoke forecast that we clear just a bit as the winds pick up, but not expecting that it's going to stay that way. You see the smoke already beginning to build back in as we get to tomorrow morning. The changes for us that we've been watching as the system has been moving through has not been much. You see that we basically sit in the same spot within that system, and that's what keeps our conditions so consistent. Those chances for thunderstorms. Those again happen tomorrow all the way through until we get overnight. The warmer temperatures, those already started for us today. We made it back into the 90s in several places. We're actually much warmer, not much cooler. We're much cooler yesterday and we do have another warm night tonight. Looking ahead on our seven day, you will see not only do we have those warmer temperatures tomorrow, maybe even triple digits in some areas, but that stays with us all the way through Friday and that chance for thunderstorms stays with us into the weekend.